Transnet's latest financial result paint a gloomy picture for South Africa's economy. If the recent financials are anything to go by, Transnet reported a 8.8 .8 billion rand loss for its 2023 year. Now, this loss follows a loss of 4.7 billion rand in the previous financial year on the same basis. Let's now speak to African Rail Industry Association CEO, Mesilant Lapo, who joins us live now. Thank you so much for your time. This is definitely not good news for the economy. Um... Not, not good news for the economy. Uh, however, the private sector has been working with government to resolve, to try and start resolving the issues. And hence, we're saying all hands on deck and boots on the ground. And we believe that uh, the problems will be uh, able to be um, solved by engagement with different stakeholders, particularly the, 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 the risk areas that they have been highlighted uh, by at, at SCOPA today, mm. that uh, where they are stealing the infrastructure. But I think that as, as people, the, the, the community around that infrastructure must be and should be our first line of defense. And how do you begin to deal with that? Because sometimes people turn a blind eye when they see infrastructure either being damaged or being stolen. And I wonder what kind then of plan is being put in place to try and deal with this because it's one of the bigger issues. It, 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 uh, you know, I, I don't like plans. I like action. Um, but what, what do we do together as South Africans to, to ensure that this economy works? Uh, and understand that if we we don't do something, uh, what, what what is the ripple effect of of, of that? So for me, uh, on my side, I understand it, and I think it's time that we educated the the public that what are the consequences of corruption? What are the consequences of keeping quiet? And because uh, somebody knows something somewhere. And uh, and is compromising our our, our integrity as a, as a as a country as an inv investment destination, but I think that South Africa um, the private sector the private sector is willing and able to provide to support trans transnet with 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 funding through uh, different. Uh, um, uh, ways of of operating uh, uh, with them um, in line with the national rail rail policy. So for, from our side, and you know the chairperson's um, commitment to work with the national um, logistic crisis committee, it's important. And for our side, and I'm happy to to report that uh, we are working. We have a, we we have a very healthy relationship with Transnet, and uh, but we remain independent. We, we will make sure that they 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 comply with the necessary requirements mm -hmm. and and be a partner more than anything else because it's in the nation's best interest to do so. And of course, um, you know, then what what would be the follow up question to that then is: Do you believe that those who are at the helm know what they are doing, given the fact that there have been concerns in the past to say, do you have the right kind of skills to try and deal with the issues that Transnet has been facing over the number of years that it has been going through the crisis? Um, the, the, the executives are appointed by, by boards. And, and I think that the question of whether skills or not, it should be pointed towards the, the board rather than just the, the, the executive. Because if, if the executive does not have the skills, then it is the board at the time that uh, should be questioned if, uh, if they, they acted in the best interest of, 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 of Transnet. But from our side, we are having healthy uh, relationship with, with Transnet, regular meetings on different um, on, on, on different projects, we're running different projects, and we need we need each other. Mm -hmm. So skills or not, uh, what is important is collaboration. And I'm not too too much um, uh, excited to talk about skills, but rather how we as South Africans, the resilient South Africans, so that we are. Uh, 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 get hands on deck, stop working in silos, stop working against each other, but collaborate. And as ARIA, 
mm. and, 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 and Transnet. We have started to do that already. And we invite the entire industry to start working with ARIA and Transnet through ARIA to ensure that, one, we don't have uh, individuals having a personal relationships with with the executive and compromising the the executive uh, like we've seen in 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 other in other eras. So um, as 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 from now, anyone that wants to raise issues will be uh, 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 raising issues with Aria, and I, 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 I encourage I encourage the public the private sector to rally behind Aria to put back the railway. It is our heritage, particularly in now that is Heritage Month. We need to start working. No more talking, but mm -hmm. work mm. boots on the ground. Yes. And, 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 and exactly as we end off there, that is a very critical thing, as you say. There's a lot of plans, there's a lot of talk, but it's time now for implementation. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, as, as you know, we engage further during you know, the course of this month, as you talk about Heritage Month, it will be also interesting to see some of the easy wins, as you say, um, you know, that could really be addressed in this particular um, concern, especially where Transnet is concerned. A huge thing there coming out from that interview. It's time for implementation. And uh, that was uh, the African Rail Industry Association CEO, Mr. Landlapo.